hey guys welcome to the channel today we're going to take a review of stellar data recovery for windows um, it's a great software for recovering lost documents emails photos that you've deleted by accident uh, maybe you thought you had them on your computer and you thought maybe you saved them to a USB and you didn't and you deleted them. Um, great way to do that. You, reco you can recover multiple file formats with it. Um, and you can also recover lost data from formatted corrupt and encrypted drives. So um, it's a very low cost solution to, and a very, very powerful software. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do the free download. Okay, so my computer is downloading it and then once it's downloaded we are going to go through and install the software. Now I already have my software installed but I'm just going to um, click through and show you how to do it. Okay so I have my file there. I'm going to double click it and we're going to start our installation. Right, so it comes up, it's going to ask you the question um, on because you have a user control set up. Do you, don't want, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You can click on yes at this point. And the system's going to go through and install it. We can pick the language that we want. I'm going to say English. I'm going to click OK. And at this point you are going to click on next. I'm going to read through there license agreement. Uh, you have to accept the license agreement in order to do the installation. Click on install and then it's going to ask you where you want to put the file. Uh, most of the time I would say leave this as is. If you would like to change the folder and location that's fine. You do that by clicking on browse and you can put it wherever you would like. Okay. I'm not going to reinstall this because I have it installed. I'm going to click on cancel. You would click on next and the software will be installed onto your system. All right, once you have it installed, you're going to have a desktop icon on your computer. At that point, we're going to click start the program. And again, you are going to say yes to allow this program to run. Software is going to take a couple of minutes. Um, well, maybe 30 seconds or more just to initialize. What it's doing is doing a preliminary scan on the system. Uh, so that's going to take a few seconds and you can see that it is starting up. So this is our main screen. Very user friendly, very easy to use. We do have a menu at the top. Um, if you're using the trial version, because we've just downloaded from the website the demo version, you can go on to the cart. You can click that to do your purchase. You can scan everything under the demo version. You just cannot recover it. So you will be able to go in and see the files that you need to see if they're there after you do your scan. If you would like to recover those files, you will need to purchase the software. Okay, so here you can see um, that the window comes up and it says recover from. So it's giving you three quick options here. You can look at your desktop, you can look at your documents, or you can look at um, a specific location. You can also click on the C drive. Um, you can see that this, cert this computer I have is 100 gigabytes. So it's going to take a long time to do that search. And for this video, we're not actually going to do that. We're going to look at the USB drive that I have plugged in. But if you just wanted to search your desktop because you know that's where the, pro the document was, you can check desktop and click scan. So for purpose of this video, we're going to click on the USB drive. It gives you an option here for a deep scan. Uh, deep scan is very good for locating information that might be severely corrupt. Um, and it enables it to take a deeper look at that drive to see if any information is um, hiding in there and it will recover it for you. Okay, so I'm not doing a deep scan right now. I'm just going to click on the local USB drive, which is E, and I'm going to click scan. Okay, so no data was found in the quick scan, so automatically the program is smart enough to know it's going to switch over to that deep scan and it's going to start searching for data in the deep scan. Now again this process is going to take a while as calculating the time 
and uh, it's going to come up and show you how how much time they're estimating is remaining. We're going to go through this quickly and I'm going to take you right to the end of the um, of the search. So it's saying four hours and six minutes. Um, it's probably not going to take that long. That's just an estimated amount of time. See, it's auto already changed down to two hours, but we're just going to skip forward here and uh, go through so we can get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so we have completed the scan of the USB drive and we've um, got a number of files found here, a number of folders found, and um, that's the data that is recoverable. Right, so we have completed the scan and you can see that it's found 659 files in 78 folders. So we are going to click on close. Okay, so now we're looking at all the information that has been restored um, and found. Any of the deleted files that have been found on the USB that I was searching. I've been, ser I've been using this USB drive for many, many years. So um, there's a lot of information, 659 files that were found um, that is recoverable information. Keep in mind that when you're searching, it's going to take a long time if you have a very large drive. So if you were searching your main hard drive and it's one terabyte, be prepared um, to set this recovery up, doing your deep scan and uh, walking away and coming back when it's done. Okay. All right. So we can see um, subfolders and folders that have been recovered and it's organized it quite well for us here. So we have lost folders, right? And it's showing everything that has been found during that deep search. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do some recovery. So if I decide that um, I want to recover everything, I would just click on the top level here and click on recover it's going to then do the full recovery of every file and folder. I can also say, you know what, I just want to do this raw data folder. We'll start with that and um, we can save the rest of it for later if we wanted to go back with it later. So for now, let's do that. Let's click on this raw data folder, leave everything else blank and we're going to click on recover. It's going to ask us where we want to save this. So I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to just put it on the desktop for now. I'm going to click select folder and I'm going to say start saving. Okay, so now it's going to go through the process of recovering all of those files. It's going to put it in a folder on the desktop and uh, we're going to come back to this in a few minutes when that's all done. Okay, so our file recovery is now complete on this raw data folder that I recovered. So I'm just going to minimize that. You can see that on my desktop now I have that folder called root um, and I click on root and within that folder you're going to see that there is the raw data folder that um, it has recovered all of the information from and the subfolders are there. So I can go back into my data recovery program again and if I wanted to do an another folder um, then I could just click on that and do recover. If I wanted to do everything, as I said before, click on the local, click on recover, and it will do all of the 659 files that I found. It will recover it for me. All right, so now that I'm done, I can click on back. At this point, it's going to say save scan information. If you click let, yes, you wish to resume recovery at a later stage. So if you want to go back to this and don't want to start all over again, don't want to do that deep scan all over again, click on yes. And you're going to save and I'm going to put it in my desktop, but you can create a folder somewhere in your documents. Uh, scan results from today. That's going to make me remember. Maybe you want to call it um, deleted files off of USB file name, whatever you would like and click on save. Okay. So that scan information is saved successfully. So now that I'm back at the main screen uh, where it says recover from, if I wanted to go back into that scan that we just completed today and uh, recover it, I just go up to this icon at the top with the little play 
and click on that and say resume scan and you can say you can see that the scan is the one that I have done today um, if you changed the um, file location at any point you originally had it on your desktop and now you've moved it and you go to open that it won't be there um, you can also click on add so if you have moved that file somewhere else then you would just go in and find it and you would click on it it's right here and click on open okay so that's going to show you your history um, and then you can click on resume recovery so it's going to check that it's going to make sure that that heart that drive that you did the scan of is still connected to your computer so if it's an external hard drive or a USB it's looking to make sure that that drive is still connected to your computer all right guys so that's a recovery of the stellar data recovery standard software it's a fantastic application um, so if you've deleted something by mistake and you're in a panic to get it back it's well worth the investment and um, it's a program that you can keep for a lifetime and one you may only need once in a blue moon but it's definitely great to have around so hope you enjoyed the review um, give me your feedback and thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel any questions let me know savvytechgirl at gmail.com have a great day thanks guys